In this problem, we are given a group of order PQ where P and Q are primes, P less than Q and P does not divide Q minus 1. We need to show that the group is cyclic. This is an easy application of Silo's theorem. So, by Silo theorem, we know that the number of P Silo subgroups divides Q and and p number of p silo subgroup is congruent to 1 mod p so since np divides q np can be either 1 or q since q is prime which implies np equal to 1 or q now if np were q we get q is congruent to 1 mod p which implies p divides q minus 1 but since we are given p does not divide q minus 1 this is not possible which implies n p equal to 1 similarly n q divides p and n q is congruent to 1 mod q this implies and q is either 1 or p but since p is less than q p cannot be congruent to 1 mod q and therefore we have n q equal to 1 so there is one silo P subgroup and one silo Q subgroup. Hence, by again by silo's theorem, the silo P subgroup and the silo Q subgroup are normal in G since they are one in number. Let H be silo P subgroup and K be silo Q subgroup. Since and we have H comma K normal in G. Now let H be generated by X and K be generated by Y which implies order of x is equal to p order of y equal to q now consider the element x y the possible orders of x y are 1 p q p q it cannot be 1 because if it were 1 a we get x y equal to identity which implies y is equal to x inverse but order of x is p which implies order of x inverse is p but order of y is q and q is not same as p so this case is not possible for second case if x y has order p then the subgroup generated by x y is the silo p subgroup and since there is unique silo p subgroup we get x y equal to x which implies x y equal to x power l for some l which implies y is equal to x power l minus 1 again order of y is q and order of x power l minus 1 divides order of x which will be either p or 1 which is not q order of y is equal to q and order of x power l minus 1 is either 1 or p again a contradiction so order of x y cannot be p so this case is ruled out now we look at the third case if order of x y equal to q then the group generated by xy is same as y 
which implies x y is equal to y power k for some k which implies x is equal to y raised to k minus 1 now again by similar argument as above order of x is p but order of y power k minus 1 is either 1 or q minus 1 and since p is different from 1 and q minus 1 we get this is not possible so order of x y cannot be q so, hence the only order of x y is p q which is the order of group thus x y generates all of the group hence we get g is equal to x y which implies g is cyclic and we are done so this was an easy application of silo's theorem which proves any group of order p q where p and q are primes p less than q p does not divide q minus 1 then j is cyclic hope you like it